Is it okay to rub the cat on my period? I'm no gynecologist. I would like to say no, because that just feels like the right thing to say. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Heart is the heart hearting. It's the heart hearting. Okay, so it's like 1.33 in the morning and I have a full face of makeup on. I know we're all thinking, oh yeah, you got cute for us, you wish. <laughs> um, I had to uh, do my makeup so I can do this wig. If you wanna feel special, then do that, but. Anyway, I got on my pajamas. You should too, you should have on your pajamas, your bonnet, your face mask. Yo, yo, McDonald's, yo, McDonald's bag that's crumpled up in the side of your room. Let's, and let's get into it. So today we're doing the girl talk or whatever. I asked you guys, ooh, my nose rang. I asked you guys on Instagram or whatever. I asked you guys um, to ask me some deep, some deep girl talk questions. You know what I'm saying? So we can really, you know, have a whole therapy session. I'm healing. You're healing. We're healing together. We sweat it out. So yeah, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen. Sponsored by Silvex Jewelry. Yes, ma'am. I'm actually wearing one of their pieces right now, which you'll see, you've already seen it, or you'll see it here momentarily. Silvex is a personalized name jewelry company, and of course you can get any any of their pieces custom made to fit you, specifically your birth year, your name, your boyfriend's name, your girlfriend's name, your cousin's name, your baby daddy's name. Here's the first piece. It says beauty. And then you see like the like the intricate like designs and stuff in it. It's so cute. And then like the detail and stuff within the chain. Yes, ma'am. It's gold. It was custom. It's cute. Friends didn't like dudes like us, but I addressed the Gucci and the feelings got caught up. Spider web sex must have got caught up. But there's more to it. I remember once saying less on the peons. Let's go to Vegas and watch Celine Dion. Make them say what we on. Here's the second piece, it's a gold O with like diamonds on the inside, if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's on a gold chain to the detail with a crown on it. Yes, ma'am. Mind you, you get to pick out like your own initials and everything, so. But yeah, here's the second one. She's very cute. She's Okay, here's the third piece. It says my YouTube name. Oh yay, baby, with all the Y's. So here you go. It's silver, like on a gold, like base. Here's what it looks like. Up close. Well, like a basic gold chain to go with it, but here it, here's what it looks like. <laughs> is the last necklace it says 2003 of course you can get it like any birth year and stuff that you want it is it's gold it's gold with like diamonds inside like a gold chain to go with it we have here is this gold bracelet that says strength again with the detailed chain that goes right into the gold here you see that has um that they're gold like there's detailing in the gold and inside the letters as well yeah so here's the here it is <laughs> For stuff like birthdays, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day, if you're feeling frisky, if you know what I'm saying. Plus, it's perfect for not only adults, but for the little chitlins too. The kids! It's affordable, it's a 30 day warranty, and there's free global shipping. So, y'all know, y'all know when y'all get to the cart, and that shipping really hit them pockets. 
So don't even worry about that. Feel free to go check out their, their website and everything. Um, I'll probably put the website like right here. Um, like I said, the links for everything will be in the description box below. And you know, you can always go into the website, customize anything that you want. Get whatever you want, get the way that you want it and the way that you envision it up here. Perfect. Set in stone, period. As y'all can see, mine says 2003, 2003. Although I wish it was like, I kind of wanted like a 1990s, but I'm like, girl, you ain't from the 90s. You want to be a 90s kid so bad, so bad. But yeah. All right, so my discount code is on the screen here and all the links to everything that I got and all the product IDs and everything like that will be in the link in the description box below. So, you know, go do your thing. Back to our re regularly, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Thank you, goodbye. How to feel more com more body confident and just confident in general. Y'all ask me the same questions over and over and over and over and over again. I swear to Jesus Christ himself. I feel like when it comes to being body confident and stuff like that, I feel like it's all in what you wear. If you're not comfortable in the clothes and stuff that you wear, of course you're not gonna like, you're not gonna like how you feel and your own skin, but you're also gonna hate your clothes because it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable. And then when you go out in public, you're gonna feel really awkward because you feel like your clothes fit funny and you feel like other people can see it. So I feel like we should start with clothes. And I know it's not, I'm not saying to go out and buy like a whole new wardrobe, but I'm saying just the way that you style clothes and move stuff around can literally change or enhance like your body shape. You see what I'm saying here? So yeah, as far as confidence in general, same thing. Doing stuff like your hair or your makeup and stuff like that, just for fun, just to go out, just to do nothing. And making yourself feel pretty. When you feel good, you look good. Stink. So there you go. Does it actually hurt when you have relations? I need an answer for real. Yes, no, maybe, depends. Depends. Why are boys liars? And I love your videos. Oh, thank you. Uh, girl, everybody's a liar. Everybody lies, every, oh my God, it's not just boys. Girls lie too. Everyone lies, everyone, everyone is liars. I don't know why, I don't know why. I, I haven't, you, when you figure it out, you let me know. If you yoink, yoink yourself, follow me, follow me here. Does that mean you lost your, your virginity? No, I think losing your virginity requires another person, but I could, be wrong I doubt I am though how to get over a guy who used you as a rebound when him and his girlfriend broke up realize that that whole situation this whole situation all of it literally has nothing to do with you this is between him and him to be completely honest the, don't internalize it and be like oh what did I do wrong nothing this is literally literally this is all his fault. Stop that. I think I need to be single, but I'm so scared that someone will never love me again. Um, I felt the same way after my breakup, and that's not true. There's always gonna be someone to love you. You know what I'm saying? There's always gonna be someone out there for you. You know how like, people are, are roaming this earth right now? Somebody loves you. Somebody's gonna care about you. And you know, it's not... It's not gonna happen when you want it to happen. It's gonna happen when you need it to happen. I say have faith and just know that there's someone out there for you that's meant for you. So don't walk around feeling like, oh, I'm gonna be alone forever when that's far from the truth. You're, I'm assuming you're young. Girl, you have your whole life ahead of you. You, you're gonna, you're gonna fall into 12,000 different relationships and get hurt 12,000 times to get into 12,000 more relationships. It's just the circle of life. Help, I liked guys all my life, but I'm starting to be, to get interested into girls. What do I do? Girl, let it flow. Who you? If you want to be with a girl one day and avoid the next, do you. Girl, you only live once. And you know, sexuality is fluid. I say do whatever you want. I haven't had my period in three years. My mom thinks I'm pregnant, but I'm not. What do I do? Go to the, go to your OBGYN and get on birth control to regulate your period. There you go. There you go. Any tips for finding how to love myself the way I am? I'm trying to heal, but I'm lost. Um, you can try journaling. You can try meditation. You can try writing like, in my, in my bathroom, I wrote down like positive affirmations for myself on sticky notes and like taped it to my mirror. That way every day I see them and I think positive thoughts. You can try that too. But healing is hard and I don't know. It's not, there's no, there's no book on it. So I'm gonna be honest, you're lost, girl, I'm lost too. We lost together. So you're not alone in the feeling. But yeah, just, you know. There's different workbooks and different like um, guided journals you can use. If you look up, like, look up on Amazon, there's like, the, there's like literal workbooks for like depression and stuff like that. Look that stuff up, look it up. Have you ever overthought stuff about somebody? I think I understand what you're talking about, and yes. Is it healthy? I don't think so. 
I'm no therapist or no mental health professional, but um, sometimes you just gotta let stuff go. And I'm teaching myself to let stuff go. Why do men cheat on a good woman for a horrible woman? Um, it might just be self-sabotage on their end. Again, it has nothing to do with you. Nine times out of ten, it has nothing to do with you. It could be just self-sabotage on his end. You know, he might feel like he's not good enough, so he's ruining his own chances of something he feared. Does that make sense? That made sense in my head, but as it came out of my mouth, it didn't feel right. Well, I bet when I watch this back, it's gonna make complete sense. You gotta work with me here. You gotta work with me. It made sense, but like to a certain extent, you gotta, you gotta follow me. Follow me, follow me. It, it's coming together. Yeah, I think, I think sometimes people don't realize how good they have it until they don't have it anymore. And I feel like a lot of people have like self-sabotage and self-destructive tendencies. And I feel like it's, again, them. And then, you know, they leave something that they're scared of for something that they feel they can have more control over, which is someone who's probably on their level. Why do my boobs hurt? Girl, why do mine hurt? You tell me. You, well, is it growing pains? Cause I don't want them to get no bigger. I'm over it, I'm over it. You tell me when you figure it out, Google it. Google is free. What to do when you love someone but they are bad for you? Leave. They are not worth it. Leave. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna suck, and you're still gonna love them afterwards. But sometimes you have to love people from a distance for the betterment of you. I need advice, I like this boy. He says he likes me, but he can't get over his ex. Then you need to go like somebody else until he is like 100% ready to like you and only you and no one else but you. You don't deserve to even put yourself through that kind of stress. Leave or leave him alone until he figures out what he wants. Me and my boyfriend have been dating for four months and he wants to do it, should we? If you want to, girl, that is something you need to ask yourself. You need to think real hard and think to yourself, am I ready? to do this? Am I comfortable with this person? Do I feel comfortable with this person? Is this something that I, I myself am ready to do? Am I being pressured? Stuff like that. You really have to look internally and be like, what do I feel most comfortable doing? How do you change your mindset that you aren't black enough, feminine enough, etc.? Realize that you are enough in whatever form, whatever shape, and whatever manner that you are, you are enough. There is no black enough. You'll never be black enough. You'll never be feminine enough. You'll never be pretty enough. You'll never be smart enough. There's always gonna be someone that's prettier than you, and there's always gonna be someone that's smarter than you, and there's always gonna be someone that's better than you. You are enough within yourself. That's it. There is no, there. you'll never be enough. You need to be enough for yourself, and that's it. That made sense. That made sense. Editing Anya is gonna look back and be like, wow, Anya. That almost made sense. I'll give it to you, Miss Thang. You did your due diligence. You was preaching. I thought that in here. In here. I am slowly losing friends. Those friends just weren't meant to be with you. Um, I feel like the people that are meant to be in our lives are in our lives and the people that aren't leave. So I feel like the friends that you're losing aren't friends in there and you know, it's not a loss. Watch, you're gonna lose those friends and, and make way better ones. So you just, you know, it's just life. Skin care help, please. Curology! Curology, Curology, not sponsored by the way, which I wish it was. I've been paying for it for months. Um, I use Curology. Um, I'm telling you right now, that stuff is so good. That stuff is so good. Curology, down. If she cheated, should I forgive her? I can't stay mad at her. No, you should forgive her, but leave. You can forgive someone and not be with them. Do not go back to no one that has ever cheated on you. People do not change. People do not change and they've cheated on you once, they will do it again, I almost promise you. And now, and now since you forgave them the first time, they feel like it's cool to do it, do it again. Girl, go. You can forgive them, but don't stay. How to break a soul tie while in a relationship? Almost, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, stop that. Ooh. I don't know nothing about that, friend. I don't know nothing about that, friend. Ooh, I don't know nothing about that, friend. How do you get over a person you don't want to get over? Give yourself time. Yeah, give yourself time. How do I rejuvenate my friendship? We've been friends, we've been best friends for a long time, but now it's been months since we talked. Talk to her. Talk to them. Just, just talk to them. Just reach out. Girl, what's the worst that could happen? If you want to rekindle the friendship, then just talk to them. Just talk to them. Just talk to them. Just do it. You know what's holding y'all back? Y'all won't talk to each other. How to stop being such a people pleaser slash setting boundaries. Understand that um, when you say no, some people are gonna be mad, but that's all they can be is mad. You're mad because you're gonna be mad. That's about it. 
and you're gonna be mad and you're just gonna be mad. Not everyone's going to agree with what you want or your boundaries and stuff like that, but you have to do what's best for you. It's you first and everybody else. You make sure you're good. You take care of yourself the same way. You make sure everyone else is cool. You need to do that for yourself first. You need to put yourself first. That's how you do that. What's best for me? What do I need to do for me first and then let's worry about everybody else. Make sure you're good and then everybody else can fall to the wayside. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta be a little selfish. A little bit, not too much. Don't be rude, but you know what I'm saying. How to get over a crush time. Um, the, the, To be honest, getting over anything, a friendship breakup, a situationship, a sneaky link, um, a crush, a boy that doesn't want you no more, a toxic relationship, it's all the same thing. It all takes time. Everyone heals differently and everyone grieves differently. And when you end any relationship of any kind with anyone, you have to grieve it. it Cause you know, something like that. Cause that's death. They, the person may not have died, but that tie or that relationship you have, that person has died. So you need to grieve that relationship. So it's just, it's just gonna take time. Is it okay to rub the cat on my period? I'm no gynecologist, so I have no idea what to tell you. I would like to say no, cause that just feels like the right thing to say. I like this guy, but he's sending mixed signals. He's like calling me pretty and then ghosting me. I think that's called love bombing. I kind of just learned about that though. I think he's, I think that's love bombing. And that um hot cold stuff is very manipulative and girl, you don't deserve it. I know I just keep saying leave, but like, oh my God, if the situation is not serving you, leave, leave, that's it, leave, leave. It sucks, yeah, leave. And you gonna feel so much better in like six to eight months. How do I shave my moochie without it itching? I think it's just gonna itch regardless because the hair is growing back and that is completely natural. But you know, moisturize. How to overcome your bully. Sometimes you gotta stand to people one time so they can never mess with you again. Sometimes you gotta put people in their place one good time just so they know not to mess with you no more. That's, that's, that sounded like some solid advice. I like that. I don't like that. I think I did good. How do I stop getting affected by things? Realize that a lot of things, especially when it comes with people and stuff like that, a lot of things have to do with them and not you. Um, realize that things are bigger than you. Not everything. You don't have to take everything so personally, to be honest. Sometimes you need to step back and take your stuff out of the situation and really think about it from another perspective so it doesn't hurt, so you can see it differently. Not everything is like a solid attack on you, if that, if that makes sense. What can I do if I'm falling in and out of love with this guy? Leave. Leave or try to work it out. Leave or communicate with them. Yeah. I would suggest communicating with them first. And if you don't see any improvement and your feelings or how they're acting, then I would suggest you just go. My friend is in a super toxic relationship slash situation. I've done everything to get her out, but she won't leave. Um, she won't leave until she's ready to leave. She won't, yeah. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Until she's ready to leave, she's not gonna go anywhere. So I just say be patient with her and just let her figure it out on her own. Listen, listen when she needs someone to talk to, but girl, she's not going nowhere until she is ready. I'm worried guys or girls won't, won't like me in bed due to my back acne. When the thing about it is, if someone is mature enough, honest to God, and if someone really cares about you, they won't, they won't mind that at all. They won't mind that at all. So don't be nervous. The thing is, when you find someone that you are really comfortable with, you should, one, tell them about the insecurity, but it shouldn't matter. If it's, if it's like the right person, or if they're a good person, or if they're a mature enough person, then it shouldn't matter. Girl, you're fine. Boys will mess with a hole in the wall, so don't worry about that. What to do with huge cha-chas? Girl, will you figure it out, let me, well, they're not that big, but they're, ugh, ugh. I'm looking for a breast reduction. I'm considering. Now that I said that, I'm considering. How do you get people attracted to you? Girl, how do you know people aren't attracted to you right now? You just don't know. Exactly. It's all about perspective. Why is shaving your moose low key hard? I don't know. I don't know. Or why is it so time consuming? Why is it so annoying? Use Nair. I just, I used Nair like the first time, like a week. Like a week ago, changed my life. Okay, so update. Actually, I talked to my wax lady and she said not to use Nair. Girl, apparently it make your cool shit black. Don't use Nair. Do not use Nair. Go get a wax or something. Don't use Nair. Don't do that. Don't do it. 
I don't think I did it right complete, but it changed my life regardless. I'm pro near. I say near it. Don't burn yourself read the instructions, but girl, I'm pro near. Girl, near it. How to reject or break up with good people. I'm struggling out here. Why do you want to break up with them? If they're a good person, what's wrong? You just, I don't, I don't understand. If they're a good person, why? Wouldn't you want to be with them? Aside from that, if you want to break with anyone, you literally just talk to them. Hey, I just don't think this is working out anymore. I still want to be friends. I don't, you know, I don't want any issues. Blah, 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 blah. I really want us to end on good terms, but I just don't think that this is going to work out. Just talk to them. A lot of the, a lot of y'all issues can be solved if y'all just talk to people. Should you use soap down there, but not inside, just the lips? Never put soap in anything. Don't put the soap in just wash the outside. The inside cleans itself. It's the moochie is a self-cleaning organ. Clean the outside. Don't put no soap in nothing. That's how you get a uh, something. I don't know. Back, uh, what's it called? Vaginosis? I don't know. That's how you get something. How to stop feeling lonely. Realize that being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. And you'll make friends eventually. But you know, what's for you is for you. And you may not need friends right now. Because right now, you may need to you know, focus on yourself. Or focus on something else that you're dealing with right now. And then when it's, you know, I do believe in the universe stuff like that and I hate to get all spiritual on you but I feel like the universe places and takes away people um when it's needed so right now you may feel alone because there might be a bigger reason you might need to work on yourself or you might need to work on your mental health or something like that but just know that friends will come eventually and all good things take time and that you won't be alone forever and being alone doesn't mean you're lonely and learn and learn to enjoy being by yourself do things that you like to do go out by yourself you know do stuff like that and eventually you'll meet people along the way yeah that was good that was good that was good you think guys really care about what your moochie what your moochie smells like they shouldn't a moochie's gonna smell like a moochie um it's like girls don't worry about what they think that they think smell like it's all about maturity if you were dealing with a mature person then they shouldn't worry about the natural smell of an organ it's an organ like your liver it's not gonna smell like peaches creams and rainbows and water it's gonna smell like an organ so you know, when will I find love when it's time? When it's time, and you'll know. Is it possible to have relations on your period? Also, I love you. I love you too, and yes. But the, again, that is something you have to communicate with your partner. Yes, that is some people do that all the time. People are frisky. How to get rid of a yeast infection myself because I'm too scared to go to the gynecologist. Girl, go to the doctor. Girl, suck that fear up. You know, you. oh please, oh please. The gynecologist has seen way worse than a, a yeast infection. You know how common a yeast infection is? You are not. Stop that. Stop being scared and go to the doctor. But I heard like yogurt helps. I don't, I don't know. Don't quote me. Look it up. But something about some yogurt and some drawers, something like that. I'm being so for real. How to get over someone that doesn't want you. Um, realize the situation, come to peace with it, and then grieve and slowly get over it is it weird for a dude to ask to see your period blood yes 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 it is how to know if someone likes me girl that is a gut feeling you know then again i'm not even gonna lie sometimes i don't be knowing and everyone else be knowing i'm just but i'll be really i'll be real like into myself like i'll be real like into me like i'd be real i'd be so like fascinated with myself that i just i don't know i'd be having gut feelings though and to be honest my intuition is never wrong so i just feel like this intuition thing but also girl you can tell you can always tell why do girls have discharge you can have discharge for a multitude of reasons it can be um old blood it can be um natural it can just be you know your your little thing that ain't cleaning itself out or it can be um something a little or, you know, if, if it's like yellow or green, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. What do you really think life is about? I was talking to my tattoo about my, I was talking to this about my, uh, with my tattoo guy. And I said the meaning of life was death. Because the meaning of life is the fact that you don't have long. Is the, the meaning of life is the idea that you won't have a lot of time here. So you have to make the most of the time that you do have. And then a tattoo guy said, I think the meaning of life is trying to figure out the meaning of life. I think mine makes more sense, but you know, pick between the two. Does anyone else get organ-like clots on their pads? Yes. Actually, do you know, and I could be wrong about this, don't quote me, but you know, like, during your period or whatever, like, the, like you know, we all have eggs. You know, the girls have eggs, or anyone with ovaries has eggs. So, you know, when, you're, when you have your period, you know when egg comes out 
if I'm not mistaken, that's what I remember in the puberty video saying is that like when you're on your period, like an eight comes out. So yeah, but blood clots, yeah, girl, a blood a clot is a clot, girl. It's gonna look, it's gonna, it's it, yeah. They're not yeah. There's no sealer way for a clot to look. They're just clots clotted up why do all my friends get guys and i never have someone somebody like me and like why no one ever likes you what's for you is for you so what's for your friends for your friends what's for you is for you it's completely you guys are completely different people in completely different stages of life and things are going to happen for you guys at completely different times so right now it may seem like oh everybody likes them there's going to come Come a time where everyone's gonna like you too. So you know, you just, you know, yeah. How do you just focus on yourself without becoming a jerk? You shouldn't, I don't understand why you become a jerk in the first place. You can do for yourself and be more selfish with your time and stuff like that without being a complete douchebag. Just be respectful of other people's feelings. How are you mentally? I am fine, actually. I'm at peace with a lot of stuff that I was not at peace with before. I am a bit stressed because I have a bunch of stuff I have to do and then I'm going out of town and I got like 12,000 things to do. I gotta clean up my whole house. I'm stressed about stuff like that, but I feel a lot better about a lot of things that I was struggling with because I just decided to let it go. You can't control everything. I'm a control freak. I decided just to let it go and I feel a lot better. Why do men think it's funny to joke about S.A.? <sighs> people are stupid. I'm not even gonna be like, it's just men. It's never just men. Girl, people as a collective are stupid. Don't mind them. Girl, block and delete. Is it okay if a girl makes the move, first move? Yes, why wouldn't it be? Girl, <laughs> girl, if you wanna go get it, period. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So go, go, go do you, go live your best life. In the past two months, I had 17 panic attacks and it's too much to handle. Um, there's, uh, I, for my anxiety, I tried these CBD gummies. Girl, I think you have to be like 18 to get them. I don't know. Ask your mama. But, um, those are good and like replace, they're like, it's like a natural way to deal with anxiety or whatever. You can try that. Meditation, I swear to God, really does help with anxiety and stuff like that. And you can actually find guided meditations for anxiety and stuff like that. Journaling helps. Talking, talking, even if you have to, even if you don't, if you don't have someone to talk to, you can do like video, video diaries on your phone or on your MacBook where you're just talking just to get everything out. You know, stuff like that helps with my anxiety or you can pick up a hobby and you know, something to like distract yourself and you can figure out different breathing techniques, different grounding techniques so you can um, calm down. But yeah, that's cause I, I had a panic attack. I almost had a panic attack like two weeks ago. Oh. I'm lying. Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. I took them CBD gummies and girl, I took a shower and I just calmed down. I said, I also opened a window. I don't know why, when I was about to have my panic attack, I felt like, like I don't know, I felt real closed in. Girl, I must have opened a window and you just heard the <laughs> of outside. Girl, I felt real calm, cool, and collected after that. So, you know, if that helps. But that was the last one. Oh, that was the last one. But yeah, so that was the last one. I was fixing my nose ring. I was not picking my nose. Before somebody even try it, before someone even tries it, it never gave picking my nose. Never. Don't play with me. I hope I helped somebody. I hope this helped somebody. I hope this made sense. Cause I swear it be making sense up here, but the way my brain works, it goes faster in here than it comes out of here, which is why, you know, it gets a little lost in transit, but um, yeah. So, there you go. Um, but that's just about wraps up today's video. Um, don't forget to create your own happiness. And I will see you next time we decide to do a girl talk. Bye. I love you. Mm, go to bed.